With our premium cocktail set, you have everything you need to make delicious, handcrafted cocktails in your own home. I'll show you how to shake a great cocktail, exactly when you're supposed to stir cocktails, and then I'll show you how to take a simple recipe and make it totally your own. Making cocktails isn't about knowing tons of recipes. It's about understanding one really simple ratio, 2-1-1. A well-balanced drink has two parts alcohol to one part sweetener to one part sour. Start with that basic ratio and a whole world of amazing flavor options opens up. Our set includes a recipe card that shows nine classic cocktails made with this one ratio, plus tips for building your bar, making simple syrups at home, and some of the techniques I'm about to share with you now. First things first, you shake a cocktail when you want to combine alcohol with another liquid like fruit juice or syrup. Take a margarita for example. It has lime juice, simple syrup, and tequila. Our premium cocktail set comes with a Boston shaker, which has a small cup that fits upside down in a larger cup to form a seal. Other shakers that have the strainer and cap as part of the lid can be really hard to remove when the shaker gets cold, but ours is always easy to open. Measure your ingredients into the large cup of the shaker with the jigger. The measure markings on the jigger are below the rim, so you don't make a mess when you measure ingredients. Only add the ice when you're ready to shake. Put the small cup on top of the larger cup at an angle so it makes a tight seal. Then shake it back and forth, and I mean really shake it. Our shaker is made of stainless steel, which will cool your drink faster, and unlike glass or plastic, you can feel when your drink is chilled through. To release the seal, either squeeze the rim of the larger cup until you hear air release, or tap the rim. Then place the strainer on top with your index finger, keeping it in place, and pour out the drink. It's that simple. So when do you stir a cocktail? When combining different types of alcohols like gin and vermouth for a martini. Stirring keeps these drinks from getting too watered down while still cooling the drink. You want the back of the spoon to run around the side of the cup. Don't grip the spoon too tightly. You'll notice the spoon rotates in your hand as you move it around the cup. So let it do the work for you. The handle of the spoon is spiral, so it twists easily in your hand. Plus, the bowl of the spoon is exactly one eighth of an ounce, so it's great for measuring syrups or liqueurs. Muddling is a great way to personalize your drink. It's all about adding fresh ingredients like herbs or fruit to a simple drink, which tastes a lot better than flavorings you get from the store. And you know what's in your drinks. To muddle, put fresh herbs into the large cup. I like to add my sugar at this point too because it draws out some of the moisture in the herbs. Then press the muddler into the mint. When you muddle herbs, you don't need to go overboard. Stop when you can smell the herbs from where you're standing. Muddle too much and your drink will taste bitter. Then add your other ingredients and shake it like usual. For a mojito, I'll pour it over crushed ice and garnish it with a few extra sprigs of mint. So whether it's you or someone you love who enjoys signature drinks, stop paying for them at the bar. Use our premium cocktail set and make them at home instead. 